in an earlier video, I talked about option one, which was using the Shibumi sunshade, which was frightfully expensive. So what's a less expensive, more reliable option? Well, I'm gonna test the fall next pop-up tent today. So here we go, we're out bike fishing on the surf. It's a, about a mile and a half from where I have to jump off the truck. And it's about two and a half miles from where I do this down at South Fork. And that dictates that I have a small, compact, light package to strap on the back of my bike to make that an easy ride from drop off to fishing spot. Now on that option one video, a number of people suggested, well, why not just make some do-it-yourself hack out of PVC and tarps? Well, that just could be a mess. It's gotta be a tight package to fit on the back of my bike and it's got to be quick to set up. I'll show you how to set this up in a minute. This thing weighs eight pounds. It's the Fall Next pop-up tent. It's SPF 50, so it'll protect you from sun, and it'll, it has a capacity of four people. And I'm gonna test that out today. I haven't used this yet. I just finished my mile and a half bike ride to get where I am, and this thing worked just fine on the back of my bike. It also has a strap where I could put it over my shoulder if I really wanted to carry it that way, but that just gets obnoxious. So let's get to where I'm gonna actually set up the fish, set this thing up, and see how it works as we're out here shark fishing today at the Carolina Beach Inn. Getting this thing set up is pretty easy. Basically, you just pull it out of the package, undo the strap, and then there are two cords, and you pull those against each other and that causes the entire tent to pop up. Now I'm having a little bit of problem here because there's a strong wind and I had to pop up a couple of the legs, but you can see it still went pretty easily. The actual elapsed time on this is about a minute, so that's pretty fast. Once you have it set up, then you have the option to roll up the windows and I decided to do that because I wanted the wind to continue to go through and not put pressure on the tent. It's got some tabs that allow you to attach everything up at the top. In addition, there are plenty of pockets above and below the windows that make it easy to store whatever you need to store. There you go, a real world setup in a windy condition. I'm sure you'll see plenty of other videos where it, they just pop it, it goes up perfectly, the first shot, pop it down. Well, there's no wind on that. We've got probably an eight mile an hour wind going here today, but you can see it still got set up in under a minute. Yeah, I had to go and pop some of the legs out manually, but that wasn't a big deal. And then once I put the sand in the three pockets, the tent stabilized, and now it's just perfect. I've got SPF 50 protection up above. It's got pockets all over the place on this thing to put things inside. I've got an apron that'll stretch out in front if you want to have kids sitting here or you want to sit and not get all sandy. And there's plenty of room for a couple guys in here. I believe the advertising material says it'll fit four adults. I think maybe three comfortably is my take, but you know, you could pop some people in the back as well. So here you go. Option two, not a concoction of PVC and tarps, eight pounds to haul on my bike. And you saw that that wasn't an issue. So this is a good option, good, less expensive option. And they've given me a discount code on a non-affiliate link where you can get this. I think it was for 15 or 10% off. It's, it'll be down in the description. So for less than 100 bucks on that discount code, you've got a nice setup that's transportable either on your back or on your bike. I think this is a better option. What do you guys think? Let's go ahead and give this thing a walk around so you can see what it looks like once it's all set up. You can see it's under some pressure from the wind, but I've got those windows open, so it's flowing right through, but I've still got the advantage of the sun protection up above. And, like I mentioned, plenty of room inside for a couple of guys. Well, no sharks today. We got skunked. Time to pack this thing up. It takes a little bit longer because you got to undo all the sand and get everything aligned and put back into the right position to pack it into the case. But 
it still goes fairly quickly. Not a big